Hello students, today we will start with NCRT economics. Class 11 economics is divided into two parts that is part A and part B. Part A is introductory microeconomics and part B is economic statistics. So in part A there are 11 chapters and in part B there are 10 chapters. Today we will start with part A that is introduction. So let's begin. First is what is economics? Economics is a science that studies human behavior which aims at allocation of scarce resources in such a way that consumer can maximize their satisfaction, producers can maximize their profits and society can maximize its social welfare. It is about making choice in the presence of scarcity. The word economics has been derived from the two Greek words that is oikos and nomos. Oikos means household and nomos means management. Next, microeconomics and macroeconomics. The subject matter of economics is generally studied under two broad branches and they are microeconomics and macroeconomics. So the first one is microeconomics. The word micro is derived from the Greek word micros which means small. Microeconomics deals with small segment of the society. Microeconomics is defined as the study of behavior of individual decision-making units such as consumers, resource owners, and firms. It is also known as the price theory since it is a major subject matter deals with the determination of price of commodities and factors. And another one is macroeconomics. The word macro is derived from the Greek word macros which means large. Macroeconomics deals with aggregative economics. Macroeconomics is defined as the study of overall economic phenomena such as problem of full employment, saving, investment, etc. It is also known as theory of income and employment since its major subject matters deals with the determination of income and employment. Next, distinction between microeconomics and macroeconomics. Microeconomics is that part of economic theory which studies the behavior of individual unit of an economy, example a firm, a household, etc. But a macroeconomics is that part of economic theory which studies the behavior of aggregate of the economy as a whole. Microeconomics aims to determine price of a commodity or factor of production, but macroeconomics aims to determine aggregate output and employment level of the economy. Microeconomics assume that all the macro variables remain constant. It assumes that national output, consumption, saving, etc. are constant. But macroeconomics assume that all the micro variables remain constant when we are studying the level of output. Microeconomics is also known as a price theory and macroeconomics is also known as income and employment theory. Next positive and normative economics. So the first one is positive economics. Positive economics deals with what is or how an economic problem facing a society is actually solved. Robbins held that economics was purely a positive science. According to him, economics should be neutral or silent between ends. That is, there should be no desire to learn about ethics of economic decision. In other words, in positive economics, we study human decision as facts which can be verified with actual data. And the another one is normative economics. Normative economics deals with what ought to be or how an economic problem should be solved. Alfred Marcel and Pigo have considered the normative aspect of economics. They maintain that economics is a normative science as it prescribes that course of action which is desirable and necessary to achieve social goals. In other words, in normative economics, there is no reservation on passing value judgment on moral rightness or wrongness of things. Next, difference between positive economics and normative economics. Positive economics expresses what is, but normative economics expresses what should be. Positive economics is based on cause and effect of facts, but normative economics is based on ethics. Positive economics deals with actual or realistic situation, but normative economics deals with idealistic situation. Positive economics can be verified with actual data, but normative economics cannot be verified with actual data. In 
पॉजिटिव इकोनॉमिक्स वैल्यू जस्टमेंट आर नॉट गिवेन इट इज न्यूट्रल बिटवीन एंड्स बट इन नॉर्मेटिव इकोनॉमिक्स वैल्यू जस्टमेंट आर गिवेन पॉजिटिव इकोनॉमिक्स डील्स विद हाउ एन इकोनॉमिक प्रॉब्लम इज सॉल्व एंड नॉर्मेटिव इकोनॉमिक्स डील्स विद हाउ एन इकोनॉमिक प्रॉब्लम शुड बी सॉल्व नेक्स्ट इकोनॉमी एन इकोनॉमी इज अ सिस्टम इन विच पीपल अर्न देयर लिविंग बाय परफॉर्मिंग डिफरेंट इकोनॉमिक एक्टिविटीज लाइक प्रोडक्शन कंजम्पशन एंड इन्वेस्टमेंट इन अदर वर्ड्स एन इकोनॉमी रेफर्स टू द होल कलेक्शन ऑफ प्रोडक्शन यूनिट इन एन एरिया ऑफ अ कंट्री बाय विच पीपल गेट देयर लिविंग सो दे आर थ्री टाइप ऑफ इकोनॉमिक्स एंड दे आर कैपिटलिस्ट और मार्केट इकोनॉमी सोशलिस्ट और सेंट्रली प्लान इकोनॉमी एंड मिक्सड इकोनॉमी सो द फर्स्ट वन इज कैपिटलिस्ट और मार्केट इकोनॉमी सो द मार्केट इकोनॉमी इज द वन इन विच द मीन्स ऑफ प्रोडक्शन आर ओन कंट्रोल एंड ऑपरेट बाय द प्राइवेट सेक्शन एंड पॉइंट नंबर टू इज सोशलिस्ट और सेंट्रली प्लान इकोनॉमी सेंट्रली प्लान इकोनॉमी रेफर टू एन इकोनॉमी इन विच मीन्स ऑफ प्रोडक्शन आर ओन कंट्रोल एंड ऑपरेट बाय द गवर्नमेंट दिस इकोनॉमी इज ऑल्सो नोन एज सोशलिस्ट इकोनॉमी एंड पॉइंट नंबर थ्री इज मिक्सड इकोनॉमी मिक्सड इकोनॉमी रेफर टू अ सिस्टम इन विच पब्लिक एंड प्राइवेट सेक्टर आर एलोटेड देयर रेस्पेक्टिव रोल फॉर सॉल्विंग द सेंट्रल प्रॉब्लम ऑफ द इकोनॉमी टूगेदर सो स्टूडेंट्स द रिमेनिंग टॉपिक्स वी विल कंटिन्यू इन द नेक्स्ट वीडियो थैंक यू